Welcome back to Loudmouth, the only podcast on YouTube. And since we're the only podcast on YouTube, we can have no topics and have it be totally acceptable. I'm your host, Brandon, a.k.a. Wild Spartans, and I'm here with FPS Diesel. Hey, what's up? And Kuwait. Where? Oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> hey, Kuwait, how's it going? I'm... <laughs> God. <sighs> <laughs> Are you okay, Kuwait? He's been triggered. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's just, just keep going. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we have we have absolutely no topics. That's why we asked in desperation on Twitter. Uh, we had no topics because we had to record a lot in bulk um, for reasons. And uh, the, one of the topics we do have, though, is Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I think Kuwait wanted to talk about. Uh, you got okay. You got to stop with that, please. Okay, I'm begging Kuwait. you. <laughs> it's not Kuwait. It's pronounced Kuwait. Okay. Ku- Kuwait is the new Ligma. <laughs> <laughs> Kuwait, Kuwait over there in balls. that corner. Actually, that sounds that sounds really like I'm Kuwait my ball. <laughs> have, you, have you been to Kuwait? What's Kuwait? Can you Kuwait on my balls? Hey, have uh, you guys heard of a bit of a stretch? Have you guys heard of Haba? Shut up. Have, have a nice a day. Have a fuck you. <laughs> okay, but Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Who, if in case you guys don't know, there is a direct dedicated to just Smash Ultimate on the eighth of August, twenty eighteen. And uh, they announced a shit ton of shit. Um, they announced five new characters, fucking a shit ton shit of stages, ton of a billion, a billion fucking stages. Like there's 103 stages in the fucking game. Uh, crazy. It's crazy shit. Wait, there was, it was 103 stages. I thought that was characters. No, there's 103 st- uh, stages in the game. I, oh, how many characters is there? Uh, like 60 plus or something. 60 plus. Okay. And no Waluigi. I mean, every single fighter. Still- that's, every single fighter that's ever been playable in Smash is in Ultimate. Plus Ridley, um, Richter, Simon Belmont. They're still Krom, they still can Dark add Samus. more, right? I think they're ad- I think they're still going to be adding more, but it's like they they're not going to be adding a whole lot because of how big the roster is. And it's I really hope that towards the end they just like the last character they announce is Waluigi. <laughs> I really hope that's the case. <laughs> At the very that least, they so should release him as DLC after they see the public outcry. Yeah. Did you see the meme? Um, who's the cra- what's the creator's name? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce uh, it. Anyways, oh um, god, it's on the tip of my tongue. Sad. Okay, so th- I'll just say the meme. The creator was like talking, right? And then like it was in the direct, and then in the background there was a purple and there was a yellow seat. And <gasps> oh yeah! <laughs> it, was, yeah. It, it was just like to punish to punish Waluigi Spamber's height, turn him into chair. <laughs> he's <laughs> a chair. He's like a, he, that. that's he's a new item in the game, and it's just chairs. You throw them at people, and they break on spot. As soon <laughs> as they make, they make contact noise. with something, they just shatter. <laughs> 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 So, I, this is really dumb, and it's probably not going to happen, but you guys know how um, Microsoft and Nintendo have been kind of buddy-buddy on Twitter recently? Yeah. On Twitter? Yeah, on Twitter. Like, their uh, their respect... What have they been doing? Their respective Twitter accounts. Like, back when um the PS4 was stopping people who had a... Uh, oh, yeah. Fortnite, they, they've been like, they've been like, lol, Sony's gay. <laughs> yeah, they were just talking about how Minecraft and Fortnite are cross-compatible on their consoles. I saw it somewhere, but I thought it it's, it sparked the idea in my mind, and now I can't get it out. But, and I know it's not going to fucking happen, but I really want Master Chief and Smash now. <laughs> it's really- oh my god. <clears throat> I'd rather that have Banjo and so- Kazooie. I want, yeah, Master, but I want Chief. Master Chief more, because that would be like more monumental. No, Master opinion. Chief would be so badass. That would be fucking oh amazing. Oh my god. He'd have to that use like, is- only an energy sword, but whatever. No, that'd be fucking great. No, energy sword would be like a, an attack. What? And then he'd have like a gun. He couldn't. He, right nah, time. nah. He can't. He can't have like a, a gun that shoots bullets. No, bayonetta. So her gun shot bullets. Why not? There's guns that shoot bullets. There's, 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 like, there's ranged weapons. There's ranged weapons, but you know how Snake only has fucking explosives. Yeah. Yeah. But what about bayonetta? Like bayonetta the guns, had the guns gun are attacks. too realistic. Like bayonetta's guns are clearly fucking fake. Like they're like you. Why they can't don't they exist in real life? Wh- why can't they put guns? Because it'll break the fucking T rating. Is really? Yeah, that's why Snake wasn't allowed to have uh, real guns. I'm pretty sure. That's, Re- he only really? has. Well, that's weapons. weird because I've seen um, like Halo Combat Evolved, the original, and the remake is rated T for Teen now. It used well, to be no. rated M. Fortnite's rated Teen, and there's a lot of guns in that game that can very well be real, like a Scar, maybe and an M4. Okay, maybe I'm wrong here. Then I guess we'll have to see. I think I think you are wrong. I think Master Chief should I mean, be able to pull up in a Warthog change. and destroy the entire map. Then again, Smash Bros. Melee was fucking rated too. I'm pretty sure, and that didn't have Snake at all. I wanna. Yeah. What is it? Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War <laughs> in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get the Fortnite you know, default skin in Smash? Minecraft Steve I want, and Smash. Fucking die. I want Minecraft Steve in Smash. Yeah, I agree. That would be amazing. Or Hero Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It has an echo fighter of Steve. <laughs> it'd be <laughs> it would be so fucking stupid, but it would be so funny at the same time. Um, also, Serious Sam would be cool to see. Oh, I'd like Serious just, Sam or Duke Nukem. Yeah, now I'm just, yeah, now I'm just naming a bunch of shit I could put they in should, the fucking game. They should really just make Waluigi, at the very least, an echo character of Luigi. Like, that'd be really easy. They should put the Doom character in it. The Doom, Doom character? Okay, that would uh, definitely uh, get The Doom guy would be great. <laughs> <laughs> We're just oh, picking the put, most uh, violent things to put in Smash Bros. Can, uh, can we get Ghost from uh, Call of Duty? Modern Warfare 2. No. <laughs> no. No. Fuck that. Can we get the guy on the cover of Battlefield 3? Like, not even, Can like, we get... not even the character is supposed to represent just that, like, single picture, and it just moves around, and it's one frame for all of its attacks. It's just the Can cover. Can we art. get... Can we get all the three main characters of GTA 5 in? Can we get 50 likes in this? This is so sad. No, okay. <laughs> Actual, um, did you guys ever play Scribblenauts at any Yeah, yeah yes. I, did. I, did. I did. Yeah, I want the main character from Scribblenauts and Smash. I think he would fit in really well. Um, he would just like his well. power I can, Oh shit! I can see like a fuck ton of stuff to do with his move set. The thing is, though, there's so much you can do with his move set that I feel like they just have a hard time picking what to do. Um, so I'd say make him an Echo shit. Fighter of the Villager. Hmm. That might work. Can Echo Fighters only be of uh, characters that are from the same franchise, or is it um? Because I don't think there have been any. Echo it fighters. seems to be e- Echo Fighters seem to be like. An alternate version of a character. Yeah, yeah, but like kind of like what. But they all seem the Echo Fighters are like char- like the characters they're based off. They're always from the same franchise so far, and it makes me wonder if like they'll do any Echo Fighters that like of characters that like are from a different franchise. I doubt it. I think while Luigi is an Echo Fighter for Luigi though. No, he's cool. not. He's not an Echo Fighter right now though. He's an assist trophy. Luigi? No, while Luigi. While Luigi. Oh okay. Yeah, I thought you were is- saying Luigi. I'm like Luigi's been in like all the Smashes. What? Oh what? yeah. Can we talk about how fucking Mega Man, uh, King DDD. Uh, Luigi and Mega and fucking Mario are all dead. Like they're the, not all dead. No, they're fucking dead. They're, like they got killed. Ridley killed Mega Man and Mario. They're, they're not dead. K- <laughs> King K. Rool killed DDT. Luigi's Nintendo a fucking ghost. Told you saw us him. Luigi's okay. No, Lu- Nintendo told us Luigi's okay. Nah, I don't believe him. It was K- Nintendo UK versus the most fucking mainstream Nintendo Twitter account. I mean, he was, yeah, he I'm was more literally excited a ghost about staring Wario at his corpse. Where? So, like, are you telling me I'm going to get in the game and I'm going to pick Luigi and he's going to be a ghost folk? No, no, I'm sure it'll look like normal Luigi, but it's going to be an imposter. You know it. You know it's going to be an imposter, Brandon. Luigi's not dead. We- <laughs> God's not dead! Luigi's, Luigi's not dead. <laughs> Luigi is alive. Do you understand me? Uh, Mega Man can be dead for all I fucking care, but Luigi, he's fucking alive. You know, right? what, you know what's also really funny? There's like four Marths in the game. Why? <laughs> They're not like four Marths. There's Roy and Marth, and each of them have an Echo Fighter based off of them. I'm not sure if Roy's moveset has been changed this time around, but I'm pretty sure it's still kind of similar to Mars. I think there's too much what? Fire Emblem in Smash. I don't know. I Fire Emblem is like need, super popular in Japan. We need more right Steam now. games. <laughs> we need. Can Smash Bros. just be like the embodiment of every single franchise? That would. Can we get uh, Goku in Smash Bros. Guys. Can we put Ichigo? Can we get fucking the guy from JoJo? Although all, every single JoJo. Every, like, all people, the JoJo's. Wait, people, people keep saying on Twitter like, "How is Smash gonna top this?" Because it's like they keep adding like pretty much every character, pretty much every stage. Right? Add like, anime how characters. Gonna top this? The thing, like, is- like I, I think it'd be really cool if the next Smash Bros. was like literally like every major franchise's main characters, as well as like you know so the, like, the ones that are already in. What we wanted as like children. Like in brawl hacks, yes. But um, like, I I'd love to get Minecraft Steve to fight against <laughs> a Roblox oof. You, you know what's kind of right. you know what uh, got me like I was thinking about that too. Like, how do they top this? Like, they said their um biggest priority was getting all the pre existing characters in this game. But you know, like ultimate means like final, right? It means like the last of what? something, like the very final. Like when something's called no. the ultimate life form in a game, it means no. it's, like the very last. Smash Bros. cannot like, be the last end, one. All, this version. cannot be the last one. The, that, no, I hope it's not the last no. one. No, the- all, Ultimate, like, okay, okay, okay. So the creator's no. name is Masahiro Sakurai. I butchered that, but that's Masahiro his name. Masahiro Sakurai. Yeah, there we go. Um, but he's expressed that he doesn't want to do Smash games anymore. Like, no, I can't. He has no. said that before in an interview. No. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been kind of burnt out because he doesn't want to. Like, he's afraid that Nintendo will like. I think I don't remember exactly where he said it. Or if this was an exact quote, but supposedly he's afraid of leaving the franchise because he thinks Nintendo will continue without him, and he doesn't want like the games to come out like without his input because he's afraid like it won't be like the game that like he'd want to be released. Won't be as Smash good, yeah. See what I what I could see them doing with this one is I could see them kind of like just 
constantly remastering this one? Because, like, there's bound to be, like, a Switch 2 at some point in the next, like, four or five years. Switch 2. So I can see them just... Yeah, like, uh, like I don't know what the fuck they'd call it. Like, <laughs> I mean, there was rumors a while ago that they're going to make, like, an XL version. It's just um, funny because it's, like, it reminds me of the Xbox 720 days. Yeah, fucking Xbox. They'd probably call it something else, like, Switch 1 or, like... Switch 1? I, I, I don't fucking I know. I hope like, Switch is in the title, Switch? otherwise it proves they've not learned anything from the Wii U. Yeah, they just fucking call like, it, like, uh... Switch you, Switch you, the shittest branding. Oh my god. Um, but I really hope that this isn't the last one because it's like Smash Bros is like a game that like I've loved ever since I was a kid. Yeah, and it's same. like they they obviously put so much fucking work into each one. So it's like whenever it comes out, it's a fucking event. You I, know? Yes. And it's yes. like I don't want that to stop because like when did the last one come out? Last the last one was console. in the Wii, 2014. No, no, the last one was no, Wii U. No, no, no. It was in 2014. Wii U. It was like a Wii U, so Wii U and like that was like four one years a console ago. cycle. So there's one per console. Yeah, yeah. it's um, it's it's kind of strange. Oh fuck, I forgot. Oh yeah, wait, I remember now. <laughs> so Smash is like one of those franchises that I think all three of us kind of grew up on. Like I remember playing that game when I was seven, eight years old, all the way up till now. Yeah, I, I remember playing it before too. that actually, like when I was five or six. Like I, I played Melee all the time. It was God, I love those games so much. But just seeing it, like thinking about it potentially coming to an end, is heartbreaking yeah this ain't no call of duty all right we want more smash pro okay because like i just want so more smash. oh wait brandon brandon did you hear the rathalos is going to be in the game yeah 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 that, that was is. like announced a while ago wasn't it no it was announced like yesterday. what is that it's the thi- it's a monster wait. from monster hunter oh okay oh that yeah oh it's not like a no, character but it's like, a, it's like a boss fight and also an assist trophy it's fucking lit that's dope yeah, it's so it's super cool. Also, apparently the Rathalos is in Final Fantasy, whatever the next one is. He's just he's making really? the rounds. I don't Final, know. Fantasy 15 or Final, the next Final Fantasy fifteen. Final Fantasy fourteen adds Monster Hunter Rathalos. Oh, okay, okay. I, I like that MMO. That's a really good MMO. I actually might want to get back in on that. I never Final I, Fantasy. How many? Yeah, I all Final I know Fantasy about Final Fantasy is every E three trailer. They don't have fucking sound for the game. Wait, no, that's Kingdom Hearts, wasn't it? That's Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom oh, Hearts. Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts, Hearts always forgets to put the sound effects in. It's just the voice lines <laughs> and the music. I feel like they just do it on purpose. Like, but it, it's like that's it feels, it's it's it, not a real time thing. It has to be a video they created beforehand. Like, so either somebody keeps sending the wrong copy, or they just think it's funny at this point. Yeah. Maybe like the music is a plot spoiler. I don't know. <laughs> No, no, the no, music no. plays, the sound music, effects don't play. And they have voices, but they don't have sound so effects. So, like, when so somebody well, okay, lands, okay, there's okay. no thump. When somebody swings their sword, there's no... Yeah, it's just so awkward. Like, it doesn't feel right. It, all you like, he- imagine if you hit your desk and nothing happened, like, no noise. All you hear is grunts, like, Ugh, with no context. <laughs> it's what is it? Bad. It was the, it was the just- Mummy movie with, like, Tom Cruise, where they had that trailer that got out that had, like, no Foley sound, so it was just, like... It was very quiet, and you just heard them, like, grunting as the plane's, like, flying through the air, and there's no other noise. <laughs> it's very strange. You it's know, super as soon funny. as you said Tom Cruise and Mummy Movie, I just remembered the Luigi, um, fucking Smash Bros thing where he shot a mummy in the face. With, with a, a plunger? plunger. <laughs> yeah. Why the- f- okay, I have a question, right? Why the fuck was Luigi in the Haunted Mansion? Is he just, like, banished there forever? Because that's what it made it look like. It, it, it made it look like he was just... That's where he does They set up the plot device of Simon Belmont being introduced as a character. And since Luigi has history with Haunted Mansions, I f- they probably figured it was a good idea to put him there. Yeah, but it's like, it just makes you wonder, like, it, it's... Okay. Is Luigi just I was, in the mansion? I was, trying to, I was trying to do the thing where I explain the actual reasoning, ironically. Yeah, shut up. Okay, is Luigi in the mansion forever? Does he live there? Is he stuck there? Is he in prison? No, he's just it's his to job. He's, he, yeah, he just gets paid, dude. He's a plumber. You know the plumbers he's in Ben a- 10, how they hunted aliens. Apparently plumbers in um, Mario Universe just hunt ghosts. Yes. Yeah, they, they hunt ghosts and or giant dragon things. Ghost plumbers! What even is Bowser? He's a, tur- he's a like, Koopa. He's a Koopa. A big he's ass a Koopa? Koopa? He's a Koopa. Yeah. Is he he's like a the king Koopa? of Koopa? No, he's just a big no, Koopa. No, he's the king of Koopas. He's King Koopa. Wait, King, is King Koopa yeah. a different character? King so Koopa and deformed? Bowser are the same person. King Koopa's his title. His name is Bowser. Okay. So is he is he a deformed Koopa? No, he's just big. No. All right, guys. So this is like, what happens when we don't have topics. We try to stretch it out as much as possible. No, I'm. This I, want, ge- I want to know. This is a genuine I want to know, conversation. Diesel. All right. We're having a genuine it's conversation flowing, it, here. This, and this, you're this, flow, to derail this was it. flowing Fuck better you. than like like fucking structured podcasts until you ruined it. 
Sorry. Fuck you. Sun was in my eyes. Okay. It just kind of so came out that one. Something was in my <laughs> eyes and it just came out. So is Bowser like... Why the fuck does Bowser look bigger and better than all the other ones? It's just because he's a genetic deformity? He's just what a, it fucking looks like. Brayden, he's just a big fuck off turtle. Why does this need an explanation? Because it doesn't make sense. Because he's, he's Mario a big eats fuck mushrooms and grows in size. Yeah, like, why does it matter? That makes sense because the mushroom's a power up. It doesn't make sense why. The what do you King mean? Koopa have you like ever eaten a mushroom and gotten a power up? Actually, I have. Yeah, oh my uh -huh. god. That's, that, that's yeah. not a power up, son. <laughs> I, I don't think we can legally talk about that on podcast. Explosive diarrhea. That, uh, uh, I mean, it might be Are we talking about the same kind of mushrooms? No, I know what mushrooms that, you're talking that, that about. That kind of mushroom isn't fun. <laughs> I, think, I think me and Diesel were on a different page than you. No, you totally were. <laughs> yeah, you were talking about... How did you get diarrhea from mushrooms? I didn't get diarrhea from mushrooms. It was a joke. Oh, well, it wasn't He ate funny. the wrong kind of funny. mushroom. <laughs> Yeah, then you're over here like, oh man, oh we can't talk about this in the podcast. Those kind of mushrooms are bad. That's not what I was even talking about. All right, that's a misquote. I was talking about. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I was talking about normal mushrooms, like a normal person. Yeah. So why is why is he so fucked up? I don't know. He's just big. Why he's is, not fucked up. He's, he's just, just a big. big. Well, yeah, he's just he's, a big. He's fuck different. Off that doesn't yeah. mean he's bad. Like you're big. He is different. Different. Than but the rest. okay, so all the other Koopas are the same except for him. Yeah, it's he's just big. Like, Brandon, think of it like you. Like, you're bigger than most humans. That doesn't mean you're any, <laughs> no, you're any but, worse. No, but not all people look the same. All the Koopas look the same. Not all of them. Some of them have hats. They don't count. <laughs> they, they all look... There, some of, like, them, some like of them have green shells, of others Koopas. have red shells. Come on, man. There's the green shells, the red shells, and then the ones that wear hats and throw hammers. That's the only races of Koopas. So you see... The th animals probably think that humans all look the same. We just think they look the same because of our own subjective, uh, so like social structures that we. Put Not on all them. dogs look the same. This is fucking stupid. I know. No, this but is an <laughs> This is important to us. <laughs> this is an intelligent conversation, Diesel. All right, you you just don't understand. You, Mister, you can't eat popcorn in the movie theater. Um, <laughs> uh. No, but not all dogs look the same. Not all cats look the same. Why do all Koopas look the same? They just do. But, like, they, why? Maybe, well, okay, so do a lot of turtles look pretty similar, right? Bowser has to be a genetic deformity. He's not a deformity. He's not. He's not how is he not? He's way different than every other one. How is, it's not a deformity. It's an advantage, if anything. If we're going to go with the it's a genetic Who's Bowser Jr.'s mom? I don't know. Peach? Does it, does it matter? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, God. The thing is, all no. of Bowser's children no. are, like, the size of normal Koopas. They're all probably just the small... Small Bowser. I, I I think can, canon wise, the Koopalings aren't actually his kids. Oh, uh, where's yeah. Bowser? Where did Bowser Junior come from then? Bowser Junior is his only like genetic son. Huh. I don't know. I better. Um, I'm not. Let's. But his big. Who's is the, Bowser asexual? Who? Okay, so I gotta ask you guys. What has your been your favorite villain in Smash? Like the ones that are unique to Smash. No, who's who's Diddy? Who is Diddy Kong's mother? Diddy Kong's. Yeah. Diddy Kongs? Yeah. Diddy Kongs or Bowser know. Juniors? I, no, I'm literally just thinking about this now. You, where are the mothers? So fucking where are the mothers? <laughs> okay, There's so no where moms. did Kirby come from? Where did Mario yeah, where come Where the fuck from? did Kirby come from? I always just thought he was Majin these characters, These characters don't have backstories. Where Where do they come from? Where's the mo Where's the parents? Apparently, like, Peach and Mario are the mother of, like, Rosalina or some shit. Where, where, Wait, you where, said where are they? Peach and who? Did I say Peach and who? Mario. Okay, I thought you said Peach and Toad for a second, and I was really concerned. No. What the fuck? They feel like a half-toad, half-person thing. No, <laughs> where are these characters' parents? Toads Where's the, the mother? Team. There's no mother. D d not everybody needs to have a mother, Brandon. Stop making them live up to your standards. No, but it's like... It, it, where are they? There's like... There's no... There's... I, I'm I my all I'm, all I'm feeling from this conversation is Brandon judging Brandon judging a lot of people for the di their differences to him. That's all I'm getting. Dude, Mario this. Mario doesn't even have a dad or See, a mom. His so, last name is Mario. <laughs> Mario. He birthed Mario. himself. Yeah. Why is that an issue? Because I want to know where they came from. <laughs> he birthed his brother. And, <laughs> but then it's like, but then it, but okay. So the, okay, if they have parents, right? Their parents have parents. And then their parents have parents. And it goes backwards. There is a Mario family tree that we have no idea okay, about. Okay, maybe they're dead. Fine. Does that does that work for you? They're dead. Well, Luigi's last name dead. is Luigi Mario. <laughs> even, even if they're dead, even if they're dead, they still had parents. 
Did That's you guys ever see the Mario Brothers, Brothers movie? They're dead, maybe. Jesus. That's but where their last name came from. Just because they're dead doesn't mean they, they fucking disappear. Can we talk about Space Force already? No. I want to know where the fucking parents are. You're not going to get situation. an answer here. Why not? Because nobody here has it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <sighs> Diesel, Space know, Force, please. Man. I don't know dick about Space Force because I wasn't paying no, attention to it. No, the whole meme is like, we're going to talk about Space Force and we're going to talk about what Space Force should be and what Space Force should so, look out of. And so, okay. it's going to be a total fucking joke because, let's be real, space military is not fucking needed. This yes, it <laughs> is. What yet. are you talking about? Thanos could okay. come at any time. <laughs> okay, you're right, Coit. I'm sorry. <laughs> So Trump, You're right. So for some context, Trump is uh, apparently considering a space force branch of the military, and they've been he literally tweeted space stuff. force all the way. Space force. Like, <laughs> he he literally tweeted that one second. Let me check and see, because like there was like back to back tweets of the parody account I follow, and like yeah, no, he literally said space force all the way. Did the parody account say the same thing? No, the parody account said a similar thing and then put a picture that was really funny. One second. Okay, so. <laughs> But us here at the us gang, our us guys at the Loudmouse Podcast, have our own game theories about what we think Space Force should or is going to be. Brandon, do you want to start us off since you really wanted to do this one? Um, so I think Space Force needs to be Thanos proof. So we need devices that will stop Thanos from snapping his fingers if he ever tries to get close to Earth. Um, so like, we basically need a way to kill everything on the planet so Thanos can't do anything. We need the Infinity Stones so he can't get them. Yeah, if we get the Infinity Spoon... Spoons. Spoons. Infinity um, Spoons. No, I said Spoons. Uh, if we infinity, get the infinity Stones. Stone, <laughs> if we get the Infinity Stones, we can build a weapon good. strong enough to destroy Thanos before he can even get here. We could build we, a thing that like, just it. shoots the lasers that he uh, shot at Thor before... Did you guys like to touch the orb of confusion before today's episode? Jesus Christ. No, I just want to know why Mario's parents were never brought up in anything. Oh, but no. yes, they were. That's yes, weird. they were. They were brought up in the official Mario Brothers movie. Okay, what, what how were they brought up? That they went to uh, the who, the Mushroom Kingdom. There we go. I can't remember because that did movie his mom shit. Get him spaghetti. No, and they're asking. They're like, "What's your maiden name?" And he's like, "Mario, Mario." <laughs> like, Mario, Mario. And they're like, "Yeah." And my brother's name, Luigi Mario. And they're like, "Okay, Luigi Mario and Mario Mario." <laughs> and then there you go. So. There's, That's their names. But what about their parents? I, I went to the Pokemon Center in New York City and talked to Mario, and he literally said his last name was Mario. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> oh, how crowded was the store when you went there? Um, It was like... It's always pretty crowded, but it wasn't like super duper crowded. Was there like a line to get in, or was it just... Um, in and out? Unless there's a game release going on, or like some new Amiibos trap, uh, you could just walk right in. Neat. Yeah. Ash has a mom. Why can't Mario have a mom? Mario does have a mom, but she's a nobody. So Ash doesn't have a dad. Shit. Yeah, but like, clearly there was parents, and clearly the dad left. But like, I want to, I want to know, I want to know who the parents are, man. I just want to know how everything came to be. I want the entire family tree of um, okay. Mario down to the point yeah, of Matt evolution on the where case, he was a fish. Please. Okay. You, oh Brady, my you, God, Brandon, this gag has gone on too long. This no, this isn't a gag. Way too I, I, long I genuinely want to know. Okay, we need but to get Matt you're Penn not on going it. to he get answers. He needs to make a game theory. You're not he needs to make get... a game theory. We need a game theory. We need a game theory. Are Mario's parents dead? We need yes, a game theory dead. right now. Fuck, fuck we, you. They're we dead. We need a game theory. I'm gonna, we need I'm a game gonna theory. make like Kurt Cobain and blow my brains out. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet at Matt Pat on the Loud Mouse account. I'm gonna, Brandon. I'm gonna, Brandon. If you keep this up, I'm gonna make like Mario's parents and kill myself. <laughs> no, you, don't, you don't know if they killed themselves or not, okay? I'm sure they're very proud but of But they are son. dead, and I'm going to join them if you don't stop. Their son isn't even a plumber anymore. He's, yeah, he's like, a psychopath. Fucking some days he plays he tennis, other little, days he plays basketball. He stomps on living turds for a living. He What's plays Monopoly with somebody he doesn't like. What's the game theory? Um, Is that game theory or Pat. at Matt Pat GT? Well, okay, wait. Matt. 23, Pat there's 23 Five Nights at Freddy's GT. game theories. That's Shut disgusting. Up. I can't find it. This isn't worth it. There's official I, novels. Like I typed I, in at sure Game Theory. The only thing it. that came up was Game Theory Reject. Pretty sure it's at Matthew Patrick. Yeah, it oh, might be shit, that. you're right. Okay. All right, now at we're just harassing Matthew, more famous people. 
I guess I guess Matt, we're doing this. Matthew, we have Patrick. we have topics that we can talk about, but Brandon's like stuck on this. Like we're, we don't like we're at a point where we don't. Bro, okay, I'm invested at this point. Like I'm genuinely invested. You're I invested. want to know who fuck Mario's I parents. I am so are. like, is there a way to be negative invested? I'm negative invested. Yeah, no, Brandon. <laughs> I was like, I was with you like with the meme at the beginning, but like it's it's kind of burning me out now. This isn't a meme anymore. I want to know everything. I want this to know how real all these thing. people. Me came saying to I'm burnt out isn't a meme either. Shut the fuck up. Oof. Okay, you being being real rude today. Okay, everyone's bullying okay, me today. So what? Yeah, what the fine. hell's a what's Brandon? It's what's the deal with space force? Okay? Role reversal. That's a poor so, choice of words. Fine. There, bud. We'll talk I about. Said that. We'll, we'll talk right. about. We'll talk about space force. I'll, I'll hold my opinions on um, the fact that Mario doesn't have parents. I will spit into this mic, and it will hurt your ears. Okay, go. I'm not gonna do that. Space force. Space so force. anybody got any opinions on space force that are funny? I think it's necessary. Um, it's very necessary. Uh, you guys ever seen those uh, Star Wars fan films where Star Wars characters come to Earth and like, what the fuck? And they're completely unprepared. There's, you know, there's an entire fucking like channel on YouTube that like I watch sometimes called Eckerd's Ladder, and he talks about if the United States military could defeat like the fucking Death Star. The answer is no. That's what the space force is for, bro. That's why we're building it. I mean. It would be good to have a space force in case Thanos comes. Okay, I mean, no meme. I do think a space force would be a good idea. Really? Yeah. Why? Why? Well, like you don't yeah. know what's out there. Yeah, like, I think talk. it's better to. I think it's better to be. Or, like, or cautious. what happens if other foreign nations or foreign powers try to like start combat in space and they use it by trying to take down our satellites? Yeah, no. like you know, you know the fucking uh, big like Odin laser and ghosts, where it's just it just shoots big ass metal rods into the ground from space. See, the only the only reason I think that space force is a good idea is because I think we should be more focused on space exploration in general, and I think the only way we're gonna get that, at least in America, is if it's militarized. So, because yeah. th- that that that's why the original fucking shit happen that's why the original apollo that's happened. why the yeah it's space like race happened. space yeah. race the space race uh promoted a bunch of technology to be created as a side effect of uh every like all the innovation that was going on to try and get to the moon so uh creating a space force could probably do something similar just rapid yeah. advances in technology hopefully could result yeah we it. could have bigger batteries bigger batteries uh we'd also find out about mario's parents how much of it do you think would be privatized um I think a lot. I think there's gonna be a lot of money put in space in the next like twenty years. There has, like, I like, imagine, yeah. It's it's an extremely untapped market. <laughs> it's the it's the it's <laughs> like, literally the final frontier. Uh, a hotel on the moon. Oh can't, my god! I can't that wait. Imagine like, staying on the moon. That, for a result. that is gonna exist in our fucking lifetime. Wait, dude! I can't is, wait to. I can't wait till we can book Airbnbs on the fucking moon. <laughs> that. A hotel on the moon will probably exist in our lifetime, dude. Space Uber. Like, space what are you gonna do on the moon, though? Like, jump really high, play with rocks. Yeah. No, it'd be really cool if there was like a fucking dome on the moon, and it was like, it, it was, was like, like the zombies just, map. You could just it's hop like the, around the fucking dome. Like, it's like the great. zombies map in Black Ops One, where you can just you know, jump and shit. It's the moon. Yeah, dude. Like a fucking trampoline park in the moon would be amazing. I feel like the trampoline. Well, you wouldn't really be able to get the momentum to make the thing spring down, would you? You would if there was like a roof you could push off of. Just go back into the roof a lot harder. Yeah, but like, how how like strong, how how high would you have to fall to like hurt yourself on the moon? I don't know. <laughs> You'd be like, falling really slowly, I think. But the thing is, with Earth, I'm pretty sure it's gravity that gives trampolines their spring because like it takes the energy gravity's pushing yeah. it and puts it back up. There's not okay. really gravity to so push it down. On you the would moon. just have to gain a lot of weight, so then you'd weigh more. There's Wait probably the a physicist, I, the like, is, listening to this, just dying. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, apologies probably. in advance, I'm, I'm only a hoodie, I have no legs to even use a trampoline with. But, the thing is, I don't even think you need a trampoline on the moon. <laughs> just fucking jump normally. No, but, like, it would it would just be so cool, like, it, I don't know. It's just it's there for show, it's not the there moon. to jump on, it's just to say we have a trampoline park in space. I wonder how space looks, like from a different like how space how does space, space like, look plan- like from space how, how do planets like look like from your eye outside because it's like in like in portrayals of like media and games it's like very clear but like in actual pictures from space stations it looks like it looks really fucking dark <laughs> like <laughs> well, yeah, i know imagine. space is just blackness right but it's like it's really dark and it's like that is the only thing you see i'd imagine I think- if i if we if i was in space at least i'd probably go fucking insane or just be terrified because it's just darkness for endless fucking It miles. looks really fucking scary, yeah. Like, it looks really intimidating. It's like a nightmare if you just woke up in a black box. 
That's all you can see. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 looked, it looks really fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, Quite goes, oh, wow, I can't okay. Imagine, I, can't, I can't imagine. Oh, yeah, okay. we should, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, you live in a box. I forgot. Yeah. You don't say. Is Clyde in space? I'm hey, at least, you're, game at least you're prepped for space. I'm not even convinced I'm in the same dimension as you guys. I mean, okay, so if you aren't in the same dimension, that's a breakthrough in the fact that we can talk to you. It means that we, internet travels through dimensions. Dis, yeah, Discord's Specifically pretty amazing, Specifically in my dimension. Huh? It doesn't, it's not universal, maybe. That'd be really strange. Well, what if, like... Maybe okay, I'm just so in some how, dude's like, basement in Utah or some shit. Okay, so you know how, like, the dark web makes up, like, 60% of the entire internet or something like that? It's more than that, isn't it? I, I can't remember the percentage, but it's, like, a massive percent. What if the dark web is just every dimension connected to one thing? Yeah, I don't know. How does how is so much of the internet j part of the deep web? Like, I, like I never. I no okay, fun. so when it when when they mean that that's part of the deep web, that's just parts of the internet that's not indexed. So like, uh, when you go visit your bank account online, right? Like, you can't get through that through like normal link. Like, you need to go through the website on the bank and then log in. Okay, and it's a okay. Secure so it's shit you can't really you can't get to a web page without googling. Yeah, it's shit. It's shit that doesn't show up in like a Google index. Okay. Oh, okay, that's that makes it. More sense. Yeah, that's it. That's literally okay. That makes all a lot more I mean. sense. That makes a lot more that, sense. That makes. Okay. Yeah. That saying it like that just makes the the deep slash dark web sound like really fucking. Well, the dark scary. web. The dark web is where you go to buy drugs. The deep web is just not indexed websites. I thought the dark web was something. I thought the deep web was like a level of dark web, and the dark web is a dark web. No. No. no? no? Okay. Does it no. go like deep web then dark web like? Well, stuff that's on a deep web can be dark web stuff. So it could be a site that's not indexed that you have to get okay, through, okay. through so Tor. It goes, so if but, all this stuff like that you can Google is the top level, the deep web is the middle level, and the dark web is the below that? Um, I mean, if you want to think of it in levels, but it's not really like levels. I know it's not like technically levels or predefined ones, just kind of in an iceberg kind like, of. Like, it's only going to be the dark web if you're trying to watch people get murdered or like... Fucking buy you don't even need to go to the dark cocaine. web for that. To yeah, but the footage watch, isn't as Ever heard good. of Live Leak? <laughs> watch people it's die. not the same. It's not the same, apparently. I don't know. There's like live streams where you can pay. But That's most of fucking... those are just. Is there anything nope. like. Is there anything We're not below talking about the, this. The dark web. Well, they've. Uh, what's his name? His Some Ordinary Gamers. He does like uh, deep oh, web yeah, browsing yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And like, he talks about it because I guess he works in the IT space. And. Like, most of the Red Rooms, like, he's, like, pretty much all of them are all scams. Like, you pay one Bitcoin, and then they just fuck off and run with your money. <laughs> yeah, like, no, they I don't can't, I can't kill anyone. most of them are real. Yeah, they're either a bunch that of or it's, like... Shit is too. Yeah, there's a lot of Hitman stuff on the Dark Web, and then it's, like... But it's, oh, like, that's all the same. It's, like, no people below uh, 16, no top 10 politicians or whatever. And they have yeah. the exact same prices no matter no what you get. No top ten politicians. Was it top like, ten or top sixteen? Like it's like, it's like a the Burger King footloose guy, number ten, Donald Trump. <laughs> but no, when it's stuff like that and it's like a hitman, it's usually that it's um like an FBI honeypot. They're trying to catch people, trying to hire hitmen instead of okay, actual wait. hitmen. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay, I have a question. So, do you guys know who? Um, do you guys actually know who the Burger King foot lettuce guy is? No. Um, no. Okay, so his channel's called Chills, right? And he does, like, a bunch of scary channel bullshit. Um, and, um, he made a music video. Excuse me? He made what? a music video. About what? Uh, just, I don't know. It's just a music video, and, like, it's just, it's really just, eh. And I, I just think that it's funny that the Burger King foot lettuce guy is making... Music Why now. is the Burger King foot lettuce guy doing SoundCloud rapping? Because he thinks he's like some kind of like he thinks he's a personality, which is really weird. Because it's like all You're of his mean. videos are just uh, eleven scariest ghost sightings by children and shit like that. Like just like red arrows and circles everywhere. And it's like some of the it, visuals in this music video are pretty cool, but it's like he's he's an auto crooner. He is so like oh I can <laughs> he sounds just like he does in the videos. Like, yeah, he, King he's just, lettuce. he just doesn't look like he can pull off any kind of like rap attitude. He's just like, it's yeah, just, he just, he just looks like a, 
I'm trying to think of the word. He just looks like a goody goody kid. Like like <laughs> he's wearing a <laughs> he, hockey jersey. Yeah, it looks like he's just like a, a like a normal high school kid. And then like on top of that, he does like Burger King footlet and shit. The, the, one like, of the one of the top comments is this song is actually really good. It's just his voice. Every time I hear it, all I can think of is number fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, okay, I just want to also say the fact that Burger King Foot Lettuce is like a scary channel, like a spooky spooky channel, and then like Burger King Foot Lettuce is on this channel is really concerning. Yeah, no, that, that that's not scary at all. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's like Like Burger it's just King a dude standing lettuce. in lettuce. The it's last so thing funny. you want on your Burger King burger is Burger Burger King Foot Lettuce. <laughs> his two million his two million sub special has a million views somehow. Yeah, like I, he's like a really active channel. For maybe he, being, maybe like, he is like maybe there's more to him that actually is a bit of a fucking um personality. It's hard to get past Dude, the voice though. That's the it problem. is. It's fucking no, hilarious. No, there there, he, there is nothing more to this guy. No, nope, he just has like a really voice. weird voiceover. And that's it. So people that's why he's funny. <laughs> Number fifteen. <laughs> I mean, like I think it'd be really funny having him narrate anything because it just makes it sound so like boring <laughs> all you can Whatever think, all you can think of is all you can think of is number 15 number, number 15. 15 okay i just burger why am i king subscribed to lettuce. Minaj? i didn't subscribe the last to this thing channel. you want on your burger king burger is burger king foot lettuce yeah. i didn't subscribe <laughs> to Nicki minaj youtube subscribed me to Nicki minaj without my permission why would you sub to Nicki minaj i just said i didn't realistically you should be seven to six nine fuck off they did a song together you know i know yeah, yeah I, I listen to that song what yeah. i kind of like that song Nope, it's Nikki six did, nine. I like. Dude, I kind of like awful. the beat. I kind of like the beat. Nikki did pretty well on it, but I just can't. Like six nine doesn't sound like really that great unless he's screaming. I give. I give six nine. Six I give six nine. nine <laughs> no credit. Six, six nines I, out I of six. I never give six nine credit. Six nine bad person. No credit oh. for six nine. He has chiclet teeth. That is all. <laughs> he's got Skittles teeth. But um, if I uh, if I just say like one thing about six nine, I like his song. Toddy, like there's this one bit that just goes really fucking hard, and I that's I just enjoy that bit. I like no six nine, six nine bad. You know what I like? Note seven. <laughs> that was that was a surprisingly decent transition. The seven um, nine, seven, yeah, the seven nine, seven nine. Oh man, only if it was a note six, it blew up. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, um, damn, what a shame. Yeah, uh, but the. So Samsung announced a Note 9 recently, which uh, will have Android-exclusive Fortnite skins. Uh, See, so you might want to pick that up if you're a Fortnite gamer. Um, Wait, could you, can you use them on PC once you get them on Android? Yeah. Neat. <laughs> Goes and buys Note 9 immediately. Um, but, like, what did we even want to talk about this? Just, like, the Note 7 blew up and the Note well, 9 Well, like, doesn't. well, the features that are different between the Note 7 and the Note 9. And I think Dude, I, a really good feature of the Note 7 is the fact that it could blow up. I mean, yeah, because it's like, think about it, right? Think about it. Like, let's say you're getting mugged, right? And then some guy takes your phone. Just, like, make sure it's plugged into a battery bank before he takes it, and then give it to him, and then boom, karma. Turn it on. Give it a few seconds. <coughs> He's done. It, it's I, just karma. I used to sleep with my Note 7 next to my face. Like, you guys have heard that. Because <laughs> I needed it for college for my, like, alarm. And I'd sleep in my dorm room with my Note 7 how, next to me. How close was it to your face? Um, literally, I was, like, breathing on the screen. Oh, like, oh my god. It would have been... If that phone blew up, you'd be dead. Like, this was living on the edge. Bro. I mean, I wouldn't be dead, but, like, I think at that point in my life, I think I would have been okay with that. <laughs> Obviously, okay. you would have regret that decision, but, you know, it was a great phone okay, while why, it lasted. Why do you need the note, like, why do you need it next to your face for your alarm to work? Because I don't want to jump down out of my top bunk to go turn it off. Well, you that actually would have like, been kind of smart because it forces you to get out of bed. Well, I like to get up and then peruse the internet on my phone. Well, to peruse the internet, you have to get off so and make sure you're awake. No, fuck that. But why'd you put? It Whenever when I would get up, regardless of what time, my fucking roommate would always be up playing Dark Souls. Fuck that guy. He got Domino's at 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I take you like very much. At, every time you got up, who's playing Dark Souls? Um, I'd like go to bed at like one, right? He's playing Dark Souls, and then like occasionally I'd hear him like <laughs> slamming the mouse to like dodge roll, <laughs> <laughs> and it would annoy the shit out of me. But I'd sleep through it, and then three o'clock rolls around. He gets up, 
He goes down and gets fucking dominoes. All the time, without fail. It was Every awful. Night. Every night. Every single night he would get dominoes. Really? Yes. Really? What every single night? About every single night. Man, his it felt like must have been loaded. Yeah, it was totally daddy and mommy's money. Yeah, because that's like... like how, One second. It's well, a lot that's of like dominoes, hard, the point. He would, like he would order like a medium... A on pizza. He would order like a medium bacon and parmesan bites. <laughs> okay, let me just say... like let me. Let's say that's nineteen ninety nine, right, per pizza. And let's say he he doesn't order five times out of the month, right? He would have spent four hundred dollars a month on Domino's pizza. Jesus. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking money to spend on pizza. Yeah, that that's that's a lot of fucking money. And fucking every morning at seven a.m., his mom would call to give him like a briefing on what was gonna happen throughout the day. <laughs> and one time he answered the phone and he's like, "Mom." I don't know why I wake up in the morning anymore. He's like, I just don't think it's worth it. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> I hope you don't kill yourself while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> That's your concern? <laughs> while you're there? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like, hey, buddy. Man. Hey, buddy. I know you're really depressed, but please wait till I move out of the dorm. Come Bro, on. I, I hated him. I don't care. Do a I homie or I hated him. Jesus I hated him. He was Christ. awful. He was I mean, an awful roommate. He was I, so I can see Diesel's perspective if he's woken up in the middle of the night from Dark Souls dodging and Domino's ordering. and. I walked in on him jerking off the hentai one time, and I, I was just like, fam, nah. Like, ha- <laughs> how? It was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, man. Like, you think Dude, we're not going to fucking walk was, in the room? He was probably watching anime, and then he's like, well, shit, no, I got a boner, and then he... He he beat one out to hentai. I mean, you got him. Well, yeah, I don't want to know the process. I well, just... I'm just telling you how it happened. Yeah, I'm trying to help you awful. understand the other party's perspective. Yeah. Yeah, he 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 was really bad. And then you guys remember uh, my other roommate from my yeah. second year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Vaguely, I don't I don't think I I'm as acquainted as Brandon would be. I okay. I don't remember I I remember most of your roommates but I don't remember specifically what this one did. Uh, the guy who would walk back and forth all the time. Oh yeah, the one that you also hated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah also did that guy? Did one. that guy? Was that the guy that beat his meat staring in your eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the guy. <laughs> like, he was. I was changing, and he's under the covers, and he's jerking off, looking at me and my friend Teddy, like change. And we're like, uh, we look at each other, we're like, is he beating his meat? And we're like, yeah. it's like, do we say anything to him? I just, I just, I just imagine you two just standing next to each other, and he's just like 10 feet away, and you're just like, uh, uh, Teddy, is he beating his dick? Like, like he's just like dead ass, like, his uh, hands are under the fucking covers, right? He's just staring at you and you and Teddy, you've like... Is he, is he, and you just rub the, pull the fucking covers off, and it's just him carving a wind sculpture. <laughs> that would be great, but no, he wasn't doing that. <laughs> how how often did he beat his meat staring into your eyes? Um, after that event, he beat his meat like one more time while we were in the room, but like never again after that. We did should have told s- someone, but we didn't. Did you say anything? No, what the fuck are we gonna say? To him? Hey, man, don't jerk off while we're in the room, dude. If if I okay, if I if I had a college like roommate and then like I just like suspected they were beating their meat, I'd just be like, "Are you beating your fucking dick?" That's what I would have said. And if they stopped, that would be my answer. I mean, <laughs> well, if they stopped to yeah. like pull their hands up to show you they were holding something, that's something different. What was it? It was like eight something o'clock like in the, the morning. Fuck is he gonna be holding at eight he in the was morning just when his covers going up and down? Me. A shake weight. Why? Why? No is one's it? gonna yeah. be using a shake weight under the f- uh, fucking bed. All right. No. See, no. You're just you're gross. acting very just mental today, Brandon. No. First it was yeah, but, first it was Bowser because he's different than you. Now it's people because they shake weight under the covers at three a.m. I don't know, no, man. I, a lot of people jerk off in like weird places at college. I don't. Oh get yeah, it. I can, <laughs> I can, I can definitely see that. But I'd imagine people shake weight in weird places as well. Yeah, yeah okay, sure they boy. do. Just carry one wherever you go, dude. I mean, like, no, like I definitely would have out of shock been like, "Are you beating your fucking meat?" Like I would have done something like that. I, you say that in hindsight, right? But you're in that situation and you don't know what to do. You just freeze up like it just happens. It's like, you, you just clicks in your head. It's like, oh my god, he's beating his dick. Okay, okay. What would either what would happen is either A, I'd be like, are you beating your fucking dick? That's A. Or B, I'd be like, is he beating his fucking dick? Like, those are the two responses I'd have. 
The same you, response, just in different tones? Well, see, B is not me talking directly. That's me talking in my head. A is me talking directly. Ah. So oh, and, and my first roommate who got dominoes all the time, like, after he started talking about killing himself and all that shit, I was like, I need to find out more about this guy, but clearly I'm not going to talk to him. So, instead of being a normal person, um, I totally, like, went to his desk, and I found his diary, and I read his diary. Jesus. <laughs> You're fucking awful. Jesus, you are fucking, fucking awful. You are fucking awful. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Diesel. Diesel. Okay, what Brandon, you would have you would have done the same thing in my situation. You fucking lose. I would have the same thing, but you would have never known I'd done that. <laughs> <laughs> See, this oh, is I the mean... disconnect between us. I wouldn't fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, like you he would never know. The point. No, because you live with someone, and when you live with someone who's so awful, you just start thinking to yourself, "Yeah, I don't give a shit what this person thinks. This person can go fuck themselves." So then you just go and do it. No, I agree, right? But it's like, I would have never said I did that. Because it just sounds bad. <laughs> well, uh, look. Oh, yeah. If, if anybody is like, oh my, god, I can't, oh my god, I can't believe Diesel would do that. I bet you there's a large majority of people who would do that, okay? I no, am not it, no, out like, there. I mean, most, like, I mean, you have to think of it in your shoes. It's like, at this point, you were so fucking fed up and annoyed with him that it's like, you just didn't give a shit about him. So just like, I just want to know about him. So you just look at his fucking shit. Right, like that. I, I feel like most people would do that, you know, because it's like if you if you keep annoying a person, you're just gonna get them pissy at you, and if someone's pissy at you, they're gonna ignore basically, you know, the thought of maybe this is bad, <laughs> you know. So, no, I get it. <laughs> yeah, he was he was pretty he was pretty bad, and then uh, there was <laughs> what what's his face the big the big fat guy who was such a. God, it's hard not. To, it's hard to talk about these stories without slipping up and saying to people's names. So wait, like, you are, are you talking about the big fat guy who was always in the, uh, in the like the lounge area? Yeah, yeah, he was always in our common room, and yeah. I was like, one time I walked down to use the bathroom, and he was sitting down watching High School DxD, and he was jerking off. Is that an anime? Uh, yeah, it's an anime where they shoot guns to, b- between titties. And oh, high school, yeah, day? yeah. High school you had. Day. You like uh, you are like refreshing my memory of like how weeby and like nerdy and virginy your college was. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was really, really bad. Like <laughs> they kicked him out not because his grades were so poor, but because he was such a health hazard to the population. <laughs> like that's Christ. how bad he was. Like you could smell him a mile away. Not even the homeless folk in the city wanted to hang out with him. He was so bad. Really? How'd and he would do that. He would like. He would, like, leave for days at a time to hang out with the homeless people instead. And he would just appear again. Did he not shower? Like, at all? No. Our RA tried to make him shower. They're like, oh, did you shower? And he'd be like, uh, yeah. And it was he was clearly fucking that's, lying. That's fucking disgusting. That's fucking disgusting. I don't know how you could, like... I don't know how you could go, like, a week without fucking showering. Let alone, like, uh, majority of your life. Well, like, he, he was clearly on the spectrum, but again, this is one of those cases where it's like, you know, then, like, why, why can't you commute to college and live at home? And he was bad. <laughs> like, he was really bad. Um, my friend roomed with him, and he they had, like, a walk-in closet in the room. He walked into their closet, walked out stark fucking naked, and then asked his two roommates... Hey guys, I'm gay. And then he walked back in the closet. <laughs> like literally, not not figuratively. Like he no, that, actually. That's walked. pretty funny. No, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't joking. He was being like, "I'm gay." <laughs> I know, but it, it's funny that it was a closet. <laughs> I yeah, I know. Like you can't. You, that's just amazing. But it's not like his roommates were any better either. Like uh, my friend was having sex with his girlfriend at the time while both of them were in there which is not okay and you should never do that um but the other friend of mine that lived in there like got up he was like you all need any gatorade you need you need any snacks you getting parched and then he just like left the room but it's like don't do that that's messed up people at college don't know how to behave like if you're 18 you decide to leave the house act like a normal human being 
don't watch hentai in the middle of a lecture hall with a hundred people. Like, that's weird. And that happened. Because of course it fucking did. I'm glad I'm not going back anymore. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like you are. I mean, I'm glad I don't plan on going. <laughs> so I, I like I like college. Don't get me wrong, you know. Um, but it's just like you got to choose what you like. If you have a passion, you should pursue it, right? And you feel like college can help you pursue that, do it. But yeah, if you want to like be a mechanic, go to your trade school and do that. You know, um, like. I don't think it's a bad idea. I'm just saying don't let other people influence your actions or, like, where you should go because that's what I had the first time, and it ended up being a real big struggle for me. Like, it's, you guys were there for that. It was, it was yeah, bad. It was bad. Yeah, yeah know, like, so. uh, like uh, one of the reasons why I just, like, didn't want to go to college was because it was, like, schools would constantly fucking lecture you about it and push it down your fucking throat. And it was so obnoxious, because it was just like, you don't even know, like, if this is the best choice for me at all. You just keep fucking wanting to force me to do it. And it's just like, They just want God. you to fucking pay into tuition, really. Yeah, it's like, like leave me the fuck I'm, alone! I'm, we're not <laughs> saying don't go to college, and we're, like, obviously, like, don't just... It, pe- like, people, like, trying to decide something for you and giving advice is different. Like, hear out advice, but make the decision for yourself. Yeah, make sure, like... Make sure it's something that, like, makes sense for what you want to do in your life. Like, if you want to be a lawyer, obviously go to college, you know? Because it's like, you fucking need that. If you want to be a doctor, go to college. And then, like, there's yeah. some things that you can do without needing to go to college. Just, like, like figure out what works the best. Yeah, obviously, like, we're not going to know the ins and outs of every situation, every specific career. But, like, that's on you to weigh them. But always, like, consider your options. Mm. Yeah. Well, And definitely, really like, no. But <laughs> I, I, think th- I think it's a good conversation to have because... You guys come from a perspective where this is like, you know, you do YouTube, but I'm doing YouTube, but I'm also going to school, you yeah. know, so, and I know, like, a lot of our audiences around that age where they're thinking about it and all that, but it's just like, I was visiting colleges, I had one that I really liked, and I didn't go there because it wasn't as good as the one that uh, my family was, like, ecstatic over, but I wasn't all about it, like... You know, the city was a shithole. <laughs> like, like, it was really that bad where I would see meth heads the second I leave my apartment. And that's dangerous. And I'd have to walk to class, like, a fucking two miles. Because I didn't have a car, and the shuttle schedule was awful. So that was, like, a problem. And then, like, you need to actually... You don't know what a school's like until you actually go there. You know, so I wish I had transferred earlier. But I did it because I was afraid... You know, and I was like, oh, yeah, video games are great. I, I love video games, but I don't know dick about video game creation. So I did that, and I went into something that I wasn't passionate for. Like, I thought I was, but I wasn't. You know, it took me a while to have that epiphany that stuff like film and, like, YouTube is stuff that I want to do. But I'm still going to college to, like, just have that extra experience and, like, try and get a leg up on the competition. But yeah, that, yeah. That, that's why I go. I love how it's this also conversation... fucking expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it depends where you go. Some colleges are pretty affordable, and some are like really fucking. It's like expensive. the community college shit. Do the two years and transfer. No. Oh yeah, that's probably like that's, the best. That's, thing that's, that's so much cheaper. Money. That's so much cheaper. No, like, I wish I did that. Community college and then to like go to like a, a t- like a four year to finish the last two. That's so, like, yeah, get your credits at a community that's college. That's really like, good. The base classes idea. and then like start your degree, whatever. I don't know exactly yeah. how it works. I, I just my. Cheaper. My first two years, right? So it's thirty six thousand a semester. That's four semesters of thirty six thousand dollars for my old school. And if I had Jesus went to community college, Christ. it would have been one thousand two hundred dollars a semester. What? That's a big difference. Wait, 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 wait. how? Wait, how much semester? One thousand two hundred. Okay, wait, wait. For and then how much for the expensive one? Thirty six thousand. What? Are you telling me I could go to community college for twenty four hundred dollars a year? Yeah. What the fuck? Why? Why wouldn't you go? <laughs> what? Because like the level of education is supposed to be different. But if you're just filling your requirements, like your math, English, and all that, yeah, like it doesn't really matter, you know. And yeah, you can but, get an associate's degree and then go get your bachelor's in two years. Yeah, but it's like some people like want to start working at their degree like first year. Yeah, that's like. I didn't know community college was that fucking cheap. Like it just. 
de- it depends on priorities, really. In, like in terms of college, do. it's really fucking affordable. It depends like, on the Jesus. state and, like, your financial aid, like, Plan. levels. So, yeah, it depends on, like, where you meet. Because I know in New York there's, like, a certain level, like, if you meet it, college is just free, right? Um, but, like, at certain levels it costs different amounts of money. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. Okay, I'm sorry, but I clicked the I clicked the Kim is looking sexy in summerwear thing, thinking it was Kim Kardashian for a second because I forgot about the Kim Kup Jong Un thing, and I think it's just really fucking funny that he's so happy at a food factory. <laughs> uh, you know, all those people hat. in that picture were forced to smile, right? <laughs> he's got a big fucking hat. No, I know, but it's just like it's just Kim Jong Un is just like. He's just going around and shit, and he's just touching food, and he looks so fucking happy. Oh my! Wait, wait, wait! Holy shit! Holy shit! I gotta, I gotta do a thing. <laughs> what? I gotta do a thing with what Kim Jong Un. Wait, I'll, I'll give me a second. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. but I just think it's really funny because he's like, he's really ecstatic to be touching this like peanut butter or whatever the fuck this is. It looks like Nutella and like knockoff Coca Cola. Yeah. Him. Yeah. And then, like, everyone there has the biggest grins on their face just to see him. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nobody even knows what was sent. Okay, who wants to explain it? I'll do it. So, I took the picture of Kim Jong-un smiling and wearing the hat, and then I took the picture of Ned uh, from the party scene in Spider-Man Homecoming wearing, like, the same hat, and it was really fucking funny. They look the same. They really do. Ned's oh my God. darker. But still, yeah, that's, that's, that's the only hilarious. difference. It's hilarious. And one of them funny. doesn't starve their people, but, uh, you know. Yeah. He looks so happy in all of these pictures. He's like, yeah, no, oh, he yes, looks the happy. peanut butter. You know joke about so, it? It's so funny because it's the food factory. <laughs> it, it, like, and it's funny and it's cute to, like, joke about, but, like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it minimizes the issue that he's a fucking dictator. Um, well, like, these are all propaganda photos. Oh, yeah, of course. You know? Yeah. I and mean, then like, Twitter's treating it like propaganda. <laughs> I mean, the, the, way, the way I see it is, it's like, I literally... What the fuck am I gonna do? <laughs> you know, it's like I'm, I'm gonna go Bring get down the entirety receive. of North Korea. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, fair like, enough. But it's <laughs> it's just we're gonna do Twitter an episode of Loud Mouse in North Korea with Kim Jong Un, just like the interview. Oh my god, would be amazing. <laughs> I feel like we've talked about this before. Like uh, going we to ha- North Korea. We've talked shit. about why we can't go to North Korea. But yeah, we talked about why really we'd bad. be killed. No, I didn't. Brandon, so, yeah, you wait, didn't? You, no, did I didn't. I said it was an awful idea. I'd be fucking executed. Yeah, isn't that why you wanted to go? No! Oh. I do not want to go! Bang! Huh. Yeah, but fucking... He looks funny. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good meme. He looks like Ned, that is all. Okay, are we going to talk about the, the inconveniences of the human body? Yeah, like... Hoodie, talk about the <laughs> inconveniences <laughs> of the human body. So, um, I, I'm only relating this from tales I've heard from other humans, that are, uh, which is something I am not, sadly. But, um, you know, the, <laughs> you know the radiostatic feeling in your arm? Pins and needles and shit, whatever? When your yeah. shit, like when your arm or leg falls asleep. Yeah, that yeah. shit. Yeah. Why does that exist? Because you're you're not getting enough blood flow or some shit. Yeah. That's so, so you become That's numb. It. So why why does it do that? Like that's when what you're people... fucking complaining about the human body. What? No, no, no. Why does it happen when people wake up? What do you want me to do about it when I'm asleep? What does um, the body want me to do about this? I mean, like, there's um, a lot stop of things. sleeping on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asleep. How am I going to stop sleeping on it? You're just supposed to feel it and roll off of it. Yeah. I mean, I like how this is your fucking complaint. I had, like, I don't know. I had, like, actual complaints to the human body. Like, why the fuck can't the human body adjust its metabolism speed so I don't fucking gain weight? You know, why can't that happen? He's why can't the human man. body determine wh- he's what? Just mad that he's fat. No, why can't it just yes, do it is. automatically? Why do I have to train it to do it? Why can't it just fucking do it? All right. Because why can't it. Why can't I, why can't it identify cancer branded. cells? Why can't it identify cancer cells? Why does why does cancer spread? Like why does that shit happen? You know shit it's like that. It's a mutation. It's a mutation. Like a freak it's occurrence. Yeah. Yeah, it's but like, like, why can't the body identify the mutation and get rid of it? Okay, so because they're just cells. Yeah, but okay. why can't the cells be programmed to understand the mutation and get rid of so it? So it's like I, I, my knowledge of coding is very rudimentary, but it's like why, yeah, coding why can't is like, grow like limbs back? when you code something, right? It you it does exactly what you code it to do, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cells are like the same way. Whatever but why can't we recode it, cells? Th- it's complicated. Why can't the brain recode cells? Because it's complicated. Why can't the brain have the fucking one. power to do something like that? 
Oh, yeah, probably. God. Need the fucking reality stone to I do mean, that people shit. are programmed to die, so like... <laughs> I mean... Yeah, yeah like, it probably does. Not, are they programmed to die, or do the parts just deteriorate? They, the parts just the stop computer? working, yeah. They, they just deteriorate. It's not like no, the cell, I'm pretty sure the cells are programmed to stop working at some point. They're programmed to be replaced or some shit, but it's like... One second, let me look it up. They, that's because they deteriorate, I'm pretty sure. I'm looking it up. I remember reading something Different about cells it. have different regeneration rates. Some can't regenerate past a certain point, so they start to deteriorate. Yeah. That's that's what happens. It's not that yeah. they're programmed to stop working. This article that's says they're programmed to die. That's the thesis. It's that the, it's not that they can't like can hit like they just literally cannot reproduce again. Like they're yeah. and different they, cells can do it more frequently. Like your brain out. cells. Like they, it's like a graphics card getting fried. So of. we're programmed to die. <laughs> your skin cells. It's not can, in the programming. Like, it just deteriorates. Like it stops working. Yeah. It's not because it was meant to stop working. It's just because it, it over time, over, like from use, it wears out. Like you can't reproduce saying, anymore. Yeah. I'm just saying, I would rather be able to not gain weight from eating like shit. That's my only request, shit. human body. I, I like. I also don't like that it, uh, things hurt after I already know it's there. Okay, I get it. My arm's falling off. What do you want me to do about this? Fix it. There's nothing there. Yeah, but you're supposed to fix it. <laughs> Put the yeah, arm back. <laughs> The pain people is there with, to signal that pe- there's an issue. People with no pain have so many fucking health problems because they can't feel pain. I know. Pain. I'm they not saying get rid of. I'm not saying get rid of pain. I just like manage it a little, please, because things hurt. I mean, you you can't. God, you guys are such babies. You can't control pain to some extent. Yeah, if you keep uh, poking yourself with a stick after a while, you're like, this doesn't hurt because I've been poking myself all day. <laughs> Neat, but just like that. Yeah, but I mean, like, it, it's more like thinking about removing the pain and the pain disappearing it actually helps but yeah um i don't like the human body i wish it just worked better in every way i wish it made my life easier i wish there was no problems with it at all why can't i install more ram on my body i'm branded 